Dino Bravo with Jimmy Hart against the Texas Tornado, yes. Kerry Von Erich. This I got really excited about this because mm. obviously not seen him any before. Von Erich. But I, I it was weird because he came out and I was like, I don't know this name, and then I looked at him and I was like, oh my God, he looks really familiar. And then I was like, I'm just gonna Google his name, and I was like, oh my God, it's him. So yeah. Yeah, I was a big fan of um, Texas Tornado as a kid because yeah. he kind of had high energy, had a good look about him. He reminds me. I mean, he came out and I did go, oh, who is this guy? <laughs> Obviously. But he reminds me so much of Ultimate Warrior. I'm glad you said that. Oh, okay. I've got oh. a couple of things here for you. Okay. I'll jump to that one to begin with. Oh, okay. Did you know, Holly, that a lot of people used to believe that Kerry and the Ultimate Warrior were re- related? They were brothers. I mean, I can understand why. Yep, a lot of people thought that Kerry Von Erich was related to yeah. Ultimate Warrior, and you see it. They do look so similar. Similar build, similar, similar build, hair. Yeah. You can't really tell because of the, the face, face paint, but, but even when it comes off, they don't it, look identical, obviously. No. But I could see how the conclusions yeah. were drawn. Yeah, for sure. Second story. Holly, did you know at this time Kerry had a severe disadvantage? Yes, I did. What was that disadvantage? I had a prosthetic uh, foot. Yes, do you know how he came about that prosthetic foot? Oh, oh, I did read it, but I don't remember. Motorcycle accident. Ah, yes. Basically damaged his foot quite badly. He had um, surgery done to correct it, which would have worked, but he tried to start walking around on it too quickly, and they said, no, sorry, you've damaged it further, we've now got to amputate it. So for a long time, Kerry yeah. Von Eric, like, so none of the fans knew, he was v- very yes. careful to not let that be known to the fans, to kind of... And even backstage, I think it said that he sometimes would even go to the lengths of showering, showering with his boots with on, his boots on yeah. so people didn't know. Obviously, a lot of people did know, but yeah, yeah. you're right, he tried to, to play the boys, because yeah. for a long time, they never, they never, well, they never announced that he had the prosthetic foot in the first yeah. place, because this is when he was still working for Fritz Von Eric, his dad, yes. uh, down in Texas. We'll have to, at some point, cover some of the old... Um, Fritz von Erich yes. shows in Texas just so we can kind of cover the von Erichs in more detail for you um, and yeah they said you know oh he's healing fine he'll, he'll be back to, to yeah. his fighting best and just wasn't the but case you wouldn't know it would you which I think is no you wouldn't amazing you wouldn't but I think if you saw some of his earlier match, work yeah. when he was younger he was a bit more agile in terms of he would throw himself across bodies and right. whereas a lot of his stuff now is more grounded okay i um, mean i obviously for me um, this is the first time seeing him yeah, so i wouldn't have had a clue no exactly I, it. I know obviously they've got the film the iron claw yes. um with zach efron which is something i still need to I still see need to watch that, yeah. um so kerry was the only of the brothers to win the nwa heavyweight oh, title wow. okay it was his brother david was was it david von eric i'm sure the el- well, the eldest brother that was alive mm. was considered to be, or oh, sorry, the second eldest brother, because I think Kevin um, was obviously the eldest after the one, uh, the, the brother that died as a kid. Obviously a lot of death in the story, I'm not going to go into yeah, the details of it there. But when um, the elder brother died in Japan, there was rumours, so they were, the story that's out there was that it was stomach related issue, that he just went to his hotel room, was found there dead, something happened with his stomach. Mm. A lot of people think that... I think there's stories out there that um, when the wrestlers found him, they saw a load of drugs. Right. They think he overdosed. They flushed the evidence away. Mm. And due to a relationship with the coroners, it was basically covered up that it was a drugs-related death. They did a memorial show because he was basically the biggest talent in the group. He was the right. best wrestler. He had adapted best to mm. wrestling overall. They were saying that he was going to be a future champion. Mm. And they did like a memorial show for him, which I believe is where Kerry beat Ric Flair to become the NWO champion. Ric Flair's got strong thoughts on Kerry Von Erich in terms of he was unreliable. He would be so drugged out of his mind for shows. He would forget what he was doing. He wouldn't turn up for certain things. He wasn't prepared to live the life that you needed to live to carry the NWA title in the manner in which people had become accustomed to it with the likes of Ric Flair. Um, so it was kind of a bit like you know how Rey Mysterio won the world title after Eddie died. Yeah. I feel like there's sim- obviously they're not brothers, but it's the similar yeah, vibes yeah. with what happened with Kerry because um, he didn't have a short uh, a long run. I think it was like a month, and okay. the title came back off him. But yeah, only one in that family yeah. to have won the NWA title, wow. and this is the first time we're seeing him on the show. Yeah. So the Iron Claw is obviously the name of, of the film. 
did you know that it was based on the move The Iron Claw? I didn't until I saw it. So, yeah, The Iron Claw was something that the Von Erichs did. It was mainly his the dad. So Fritz yeah. Von Erich kind of was the man behind The Iron Claw. He'd also do it on the stomach as well sometimes. Okay. But he'd basically try and crush the person's head. And they were the storyline being that Fritz has such a powerful grip, right. he could actually start to crush a man's skull. Mm. He went on an interview. So this is way back in the day, okay. long before this period now. And Fritz was being interviewed by a guy who I think was trying to suggest that wrestling wasn't on the level and that wouldn't actually cause yep. anyone a great deal of pain. So Fritz went, I'll put the hold on you. The guy went, fine. Oh. Fritz put the claw on, started actually crushing the guy's head. Like, well, not literally crushing, but putting the hold and trying to hurt him. Yeah. The guy was obviously getting discomforted by this. Fritz wouldn't stop. So the guy, to try and counter the hold put the iron claw on Fritz's bollocks and started trying to crush Fritz's balls during the interview. And that's always the story I think of when it comes to the iron claw. Just a man like, this is real, trying to crush someone's head. And then the (laughs) the interviewer grabbing him by the bollocks, which I just think sounds fucking hilarious. And you just think, what is professional wrestling sometimes? I'm crying with laughter now thinking about it. It's just, it tickles me. Um, so, yeah, we see the Iron Claw, but it... And then I read yeah. about, obviously, this is such a sad, sad story of that family, but, like, obviously I then read that he died not even two years after this. And then again, I'm like, oh, just, just give another, like, more points. It just, it really pulls on my heartstrings. So the story that, I mean, I'm sure most people listening to this will already know, but, yeah, yeah. Holly's right. I think it was within 92 or 93. Yeah. Uh, Kerry had gone to visit his dad. Bearing in mind, this was a time where three of his brothers yes, were so already uh, deceased. So um, and Kerry was having a rough time. The story at the time was that Kerry was about to be prosecuted for possession of drugs. And he thought it would bring shame to the family further, as they'd already gone through a very difficult time. Visiting his dad on his kind of, not country estate, but it was out in the sticks, uh, big land. And said, um, he said to his dad, oh, do you mind if I, like, look at your gun basically that he bought his dad a gun for christmas mm. hunting rifle yeah obviously um kerry said i'll come back to the house later we'll have some lunch together he obviously didn't come back to the house for lunch fritz went out to try and find him um kerry had turned the gun on himself shot himself through the heart i believe oh, God. and was found dead next to a tree and that's the end of kerry von eric very so, sad. So sad very sad tale um that whole family is so sad and um, I put a lot of the blame, I'll be honest, on the dad, if I'm being perfectly frank. And I'll elaborate on that at another time. Okay. I don't think it's as controversial as it sounds. Right, if, okay. Because I can tell by the way you look at Yeah, my me, face is like, what? Yeah, no. <laughs> obviously, he's not the one specifically killing them. But no, I think no. a lot of his expectations... I see. And okay. you know, the manner in which he treated them could, could be considered to be a causation for their okay. demise. Thank you, everyone, for the support you guys have shown us so far. It means the world to us. Holly, what do we want to remind the people? Um, Don't forget to like, subscribe and ding the bell for notifications.